Hey friends, I hope you're having a fantastic day. And today I wanted to talk to you about strep. Strep throat, chronic strep infections, streptococcal infections. You know, because there's a lot of people out there that like to kiss a lot of people and make out, and swap that spit, and that spit contains a microorganism, a bacteria that can transfer to the salivary glands and to the tonsils and to the sinuses and even into the gums of the teeth, causing things such as pus or tonsil stones, chronic sinusitis, a stuffy nose. It's real attractive. Just playing with you, just teasing, but it is true, it can cause that. And it's not the only way through kissing. You get it through contact, you get it through the air, you can be around somebody else, and that can give you strep. But these symptoms can lead to things such as a chronic sore throat, a chronic cough, chronic sinusitis, unexplained rashes all over the throat or the chest or the shoulders that pop up all of a sudden, even heart conditions, tachycardia, heart damage, chronic UTIs or kidney damage or reproductive issues. This bacteria can be everywhere in the body if left untreated. And the reason I wanted to talk to you about it is because I've had patients that have been sick, had chronic sore throats or chronic coughing, and they are fearful and they're worried about corona, about viral infections. So when they go to their general practitioner, they get tested and many times they're negative. And then they question or message me or send me an email asking me what, what I think about this or what do I think about this. And I suggest that they get a strep infection test. And many times it's positive. So they may have this chronic strep infection that's been sticking around for many years. So I question about their history. We look back in their history. Did they have chronic ear infections when they were a kid? Did they have chronic throat infections? Were they chronically having diarrhea or constipation? These are areas of the body where strep can invade heavily. And if they say yes, they now can see that strep could still be lingering in the body because strep is very, very chronic. It can be dormant for a very long time. And if your immune system is weakened over the years, through antibiotic use, over amounts of sugar, heavy amounts of sugar, dehydration, any types of prescription medication that could damage the digestive system, or even being in a toxic environment emotionally. These are some of the things that can actually cause strep to become dormant and stay dormant, but still thrive, still drain you of energy and food and nutrients. So if this is the case, and we look back in their history, and they do have signs and symptoms, and they are, do have a positive test, I suggest certain herbals and spices. So in the next post, we're gonna talk about the spices and herbals that can help gently remove the strep. Try to get it to move out of the body without causing too much of a detoxification problem, almost like a Hertz reaction with Lyme. We don't wanna over detoxify too quickly. So if you're having these signs and symptoms and you can't get rid of them, look into a strep test. Strep can invade so many parts of the body. I'm repeating myself because I see patients that come in and they've been chronically sick. They'll have chronic upper back pain and they'll have chronic areas of the body that are painful, sore, tender, achy muscles. And I wanted to, in the next post, correlate it to the Chinese meridian system because there is a big epidemic of strep, strep getting into the digestive system, causing SIBO, being one of the family of SIBO, small intestinal bacterial overgrowth. And when this occurs, where it's situated in the gut, this can have a spreading effect through the meridian system to other parts of the body. So sometimes a patient can go get a strep test in their throat and it becomes negative. And they're like, well, I have all the signs and symptoms, but there could be strep, strep pneumonia, there could be strep pyogenes within the digestive tract, overstimulating the small intestine, weakening it, and the meridian that's associated with any of the digestive organs can express the signs and symptoms of the strep. So you can have signs and symptoms of strep up here, even though it's going on down in the stomach or in the digestive tract. It's pretty interesting stuff and can also have an effect on your emotions. So we're gonna talk about emotions, we're gonna talk about small intestinal bacteria such as strep, but show you how prevalent it is in our culture today. So if you have a chronic sore throat, chronic swollen tonsils, tonsil stones, chronic ear infections that come back every single year, you have chronic allergies, Remember, chronic infections create secondary allergic responses because of crazy histamine responses. So let's look forward to that in the next post. I do like to talk about strep. I find it many times that people have these symptoms every single day in the office, literally. So if you have any of these signs and symptoms, it's not to be negative, it's supposed to be positive. We can find these things out, start cleaning them out so you can actually, what, invigorate, get life to the fullest and can tackle any immune dysfunction because if you get some of this strep out of the way, 
if it's been there chronically, you'll start shedding out, cleaning out other infections like fungus or yeast or mold, any type of viral. You can actually help fight them better if you get rid of the chronic strep. So that's what we're going to talk about in the next post. Guys, I hope you have a great day. You take it easy. Talk soon.